What's up, YouTube? Um, it's just going to be a quick introduction. Welcome to my new channel, Cars with Carlos. All about cars, working on cars, acting like I know how to work on cars. Yeah, y'all just uh, 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 join the ride. I made this channel just for the simple fact I have so many vehicles. I'm going to get into them in a minute and uh, and uh, do all my own work. So I am figured I'd do some YouTube videos because there's a lot of times I go on YouTube looking for information and I can't find it. So here's some information that will hopefully help other people in the future. Today, my focus is going to be on my 2009 CLS 550. Got an issue where power steering pump went out and shredded my serpentine belt. And it shredded my idler pulley and tension pulley. So we are about to change all of that today. The real focus of my channel, this baby right here, but just an 86 IROC, I've gutted, stripped it, repainted, it, and it's waiting on the right motor. We gonna get into that later. Right now, y'all watch me bust my knuckles up on this Mercedes. I'm gonna get you in there. It left the residue embedded within the pulley. So the air conditioner pulley and my alternator, hold on, let me see, get you in there. So is the, well, you can probably see it, but so is the alternator pulley. It's just full of melted belt. And so now I gotta dig it out. Yep. This is gonna be fun. Pretty sure y'all won't see this, so I'll cut you back on in a minute. So this would wind up being left of my serpentine belt. Here's the bearing for my idler pulley. Here's the rest of it. So, 10 millimeter in the back. I think this is a hook. To exactly. This is gonna be a 18 mil. That's on the tension of pulley. So basically, what you have to do, you have to make it breaking loose so here's the new one so first you take this screw out put the bolt here to release the tension of course i can't do it with one hand but once this is pushed out of the way you can access this bolt which is right here on the side of your way on the end of that extension there, the one to the right. Mercedes did. Germans are smart. They designed the idler pulley to destroy itself if any of your other pulleys break. Kudos. And this thing was only $10. And it's at the top, so it's easy to get to. Got that out. Um, guess we're gonna go for tensioner pulley neck. I think that'll be the easier one. See you guys in a second. put both of the idler pulleys back on and tensioner pulley. I'm about to go ahead and put the serpentine belt on, get her cranked up. Hopefully the power steering pump's not leaking or I'm gonna have to tear this all apart again. I'll set you guys up and get serpentine belt on and get her cranked up and see if that's <laughs> Found out some good news. Actually, my power steering pump is not leaking, nor the reservoir. I didn't have to change it. I looked at a couple videos online. It was difficult to say the least. And now for the moment of truth. To win at all costs. You're emotional. No leaks. Mercedes is back on the road, baby. 
nice cleanup and detail job coming up next. I told y'all, all you gotta do is just trust in fucking what you can do and believe in yourself. It's not that hard, but let's go. So far, so good. We on the road. I'm only just riding down a residential street. There are no lights on the dash. Minus the seatbelt light. We break laws in Detroit.